I first became involved with school trust lands through the PTA. I was the legislative VP for our region and I attended an advocacy conference at the state level. And there were different classes you could attend and I chose one on school trust lands. I was familiar with trust lands and I had even been to a couple of school community council meetings. But it wasn't until that class that I truly understood. I hadn't understood before the impact that a school community council can have on what happens in a school. That they are actually able to have a say in identifying what the greatest academic need is and have funds that they can help direct in order to meet those needs. That was huge, to know that we have funds right at the local level that our, that our parents and our teachers can help direct in order to help their school. The other thing about that class that really struck me was understanding the history of trust lands in our state. That they were set aside at statehood, that this was a vision of the founding leaders of this country to have public lands to help benefit public schools. Um, it was sad to hear that for the first hundred years of statehood nothing really happened and those lands hadn't done anything to help our public schools. And then to hear about the PTA and other community groups that started advocating in the 80s um, for these lands which eventually resulted in the creation of SITLA to help actively manage those lands and then that fund took off and grew. And so the thing that really struck me and got me really interested is the what if. You know, what if those lands had been actively managed for the hundred years before? How much money would we have for education in this state? And so I, I became interested and involved because I wanted to, you know, ensure that that didn't happen again. Um, to ensure that the legislature didn't ever raid the fund like they did in the 80s. Um, and to ensure that 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 money was still going to our schools and still growing. And so that's how I became involved. I joined PTA's Legislative Advocacy Committee and I started shadowing Karen Peterson who was PTA's trust land specialist at the time and learned a lot more about the trust. She had me attend the school trust investment task force meetings at that time which was also uh, fascinating as they discussed ways that the fund could be actively managed to create more money. And I eventually took over as the school trust land specialist for Utah PTA. One of the greatest accomplishments while in that role was being able to help advocate for the creation of SITFO, which is the independent office to help actively manage the funds. Government agencies couldn't necessarily campaign, but the PTA could step in and help really actively campaign for that constitutional amendment. And I was able to um, help or encourage the PTA and get everybody on board so that we were able to campaign for that amendment statewide. Talked, I mean nonstop, that's all I talked about was constitutional amendment B for about a year. And so it was exciting to see that pass. And now as a school board member for Jordan School District, I get to read all of the trust plans for all the schools in our district and see how that money is making a difference in our schools. And it is such an important source of funding for our schools. And it's really very rewarding to see the impact that it has on our schools and the different programs that each school is able to identify um, to be able to meet the needs of their students. I see a lot, of, a lot of technology, some reading aids, math programs, an ACT course, whatever it is that that school um, needs to help improve their academic achievement, the parents and teachers are able to have a direct say in that. When I see the impact that these trust funds make in our schools, directly on students who have resources and programs available to them that wouldn't be otherwise, and to teachers who have resources available, it gives me great purpose and meaning in the work that I've been able to do and the impact that it has on our education and on our students. And that is my trust story.